Social Anxiety Disorder This is not a rare or uncommon issue, it's a silent battle fought by millions every day. Social Anxiety Disorder, or Social Phobia as it's sometimes known, is a persistent fear of social situations. It's an extreme version of shyness. It's a deep-rooted fear that can be debilitating, impacting one's day-to-day -day life. It may manifest in different ways, avoiding gatherings, feeling self-conscious in front of others, or constantly worrying about being judged or humiliated. It's a constant distressing companion that can lead to isolation and loneliness, but it's important to know that it's not a life sentence. It's a condition that can be managed and overcome. So how can one stop or manage this disorder? The first step is to not take life too seriously. Learn to laugh at your mistakes. This is about finding the humor in life. It's about understanding that no one is perfect and that's perfectly okay. Embrace your imperfections. In the grand scheme of things, those embarrassing moments that seem so monumental now will fade into insignificance. So, what's the big deal if you make a mistake or two? It's okay to stumble and fall. You should stop caring so much about what others think of you. Remember, people are too preoccupied with their own lives to scrutinize yours. When you stop caring so much about what people think, you will begin to feel less anxious. The next step is to embrace social interactions. Social interactions are not a chore, but an integral part of life. Social interactions might seem daunting, especially if you're someone who prefers the comfort of your own company. But remember, getting better only happens when you step outside of your comfort zone. This involves meeting new people, engaging in conversations, and dealing with all types of personalities. Embracing social interactions is about accepting that it's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's okay to fumble with words or to not know what to say. It's okay to feel nervous. These are all signs of growth. They show that you're pushing your boundaries, that you're willing to learn and improve. So embrace social interactions. They might seem scary at first, but with time, they will become a source of strength for you. They will help you become more confident, more sure of yourself. So step out, connect, and watch your confidence grow. Next on our list is boosting your self-esteem. This is another vital step. It's like planting a seed and nurturing it to grow. The seed, in this case, is your self-belief, and the nurturing bit involves self-love affirmations. These affirmations are positive statements that can help you challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start making positive changes. Picture this. You are standing in front of a mirror, looking into your own eyes and saying, I am confident. I am amazing. I am outstanding. This is powerful. Doing this can make you feel invincible. But here's the thing. While you are affirming the positive, don't forget to eliminate the negative. Negative self-thoughts are like weeds that can choke your growing seed. So pluck them out. Replace them with self-love and positivity. Remember, you are more than your perceived flaws or mistakes. Our fifth tip is to focus on others and their imperfections, not just yourself. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of self-doubt and self-consciousness when you're in social settings. You might find yourself fixating on your perceived flaws and imperfections, but here's a little secret. Everyone has flaws. Everyone has imperfections. Yes, even that person you think is perfect. Next time you're in a social setting, take a moment to observe those around you. Notice that others might have acne, a bad hair day, or other imperfections, and they are still accepted and loved. This realization can help reduce your self-consciousness and anxiety. It can remind you that you're not alone in your imperfections. So the next time you start to feel overwhelmed by your imperfections, shift your focus. Look at others. Understand that they too have their insecurities and flaws. When you focus on others and their imperfections, you'll realize that everyone is human and nobody is perfect. This realization can be liberating. It can help you let go of that crippling social anxiety disorder and embrace your true self. And finally, the last tip. If you've tried everything on our list and nothing seems to help, it might be time to seek professional help. There's absolutely no shame in reaching out to those who are trained to assist you in overcoming social anxiety disorder. 
Therapists, psychologists and psychiatrists have an arsenal of tools and techniques designed specifically for this purpose. You see, these professionals are equipped with the knowledge and skills to help you understand the root of your anxiety. They can provide valuable insights into why certain situations trigger your anxiety and guide you in developing coping strategies. This understanding can be a crucial step towards managing your social anxiety disorder. And with that, we've reached the end of today's guide on stopping social anxiety. We hope you found our tips helpful and that they can assist you in your journey towards managing social anxiety disorder. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Health Renovation Station, for more health and wellness content. We appreciate your support and we are grateful to be part of your health journey.